up dudes welcome back to another call of duty warzone video today as you can see on the screen we're going to be talking about the pkm light machine gun all right boys just before we get on with the video i'd just like to give a shout out to this uh reddit thread and it really helped me this guy soran kun from reddit he made this really long post and he just detailed everything about the pkm this was two months ago though so i'm not sure if there's any there have been any changes but as far as i know this is like the best source of information for me at least so he starts going on about the comparisons between assault rifles and things like that and then also why he chose the extended barrel and the heavy barrel and then he even um manages to find how many frames and movement speed enhanced recoil control like all these things about these different attachments that i wouldn't have been able able to find or if i did it would have taken me two years to find it so uh, i just want to thank this guy and this guy is really helpful so yeah make sure you hit the like button though if you find this video helpful also subscribe because i'll be making more class setups for warzone and things like that so let's get straight back to the video now the pkm lmg has really good range and really good time to kills or ttks and it it even rivals a lot of ars so i'm bringing it up um and it was also the gun that i used to unlock my bruin mark 9 and this is a build that I, re I recommend people use because it's just awesome. Now, first things first, the muzzle. You don't need the monolithic suppressor for this gun because the range on this gun is already really good and the lightweight suppressor's negative damage range won't affect it much. Secondly, you want to get the extended barrel. Um, you can actually choose the heavy barrel instead of the extended barrel if you feel like with the heavy barrel you cannot control the recoil already pretty well. But if you need help controlling the recoil, then go with the extended barrel. Third, this one's quite important as it um, takes away your ADS time by two frames. So that's really good snatch grip and it gives you recoil control. And the only con is movement speed, so that's not too bad. Fourth, um, I like to go with the VLK3X optic. This one gives it some more range, so it helps with the LMG because it is meant for longer range engagements as the LMG has really, really, really long distance. And the fifth one is, um, it's all personal. You can choose which, whichever one you want. If you want to go with more long range and you need more aiming stability, then I'd say go with the TAC laser. Um, but if you don't like the TAC laser, then you can either go with the FSS close quarter stock. This one takes away your um, ADS, your ADS frames by like one or something. Um, but I, I kind of like the no stock to be honest, because I feel like I can control the recoil. So this is my personal favorite loadout or class setup, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you help me out by leaving a like. Make sure you subscribe as well, because tomorrow we'll be reviewing another gun, or we'll be doing another class setup for another gun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.